Okay, so now, now that we're in two-dimensional motion, we have to describe angles as well. Because we're going to be taking turns, and we're going to have angles probably represented by the theta symbol. That's the theta symbol. And we're going to have to describe a little bit more than what we had to do before. So here's an example of 20, 80 meters, 20 degrees north of east. How would you do this? Well, first of all, let me just tell you that this itself is called a baseline. The last little thing you see, baseline, that's N. I-I-N-E, so that's a baseline, and baseline is going to be important because it's going to tell you what you're going 20 degrees north of. Um, let me just kind of show you, if I just said 20 degrees north, what would that mean? Well, 20 degrees north, and here's my at coordinate system, 20 degrees north could be 20 degrees north of here, or 20 degrees north of here. I really don't know which one it is 20 degrees north of unless I have this baseline, and in this case I'm going 20 degrees north of east. So that finalizes my direction and that tells me that this 20 degrees is placed right here. So a uh, quick easy way to draw this just to, without thinking too much. If you will step it backwards, um, what I would do first is draw an origin dot. This is going to be important. So origin dot first. Secondly, I would go just, just step it backwards. East next. Thirdly, I'd go north from there. Then at that point in time, here I'm going to draw the resultant. So what could I have done instead of those two? I could have went straight there. From there, I'm going to go ahead and put an angle closest to the origin dot. That's why this origin dot is very important. And then lastly, if, you, if anything's ever written like 20 degrees, if you see a, an angle next to everything else, then that 80 meters or whatever you have in front of it, this number right here, it's always going to go on the hypotenuse. And so for here, I can resolve for here. From here, I would probably have to figure out you know, the next step in one of my future lessons is to figure out what these sides would be, what these components of this overall resultant would be. Okay, let me walk you through this one. Here, north is our baseline. Let's go ahead and step it backwards, draw an origin dot north here. And then from there, I'm going to go east. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and before I do the next part, I have to draw the resultant because I need a place to put this angle, 20 degrees. And then the 80 meters is going to go right here. Let's take a look back at what that looked like before. See how this was 20 degrees north of east? See how this is 20 degrees east of north? They do represent two different things. Okay, and then uh, description like this, 80 meters, 20 degrees about the x-axis. Well, our baseline is the x-axis. So if you think of your coordinate system, this is the plus x-axis. And if I am 20 degrees above that x-axis, just kind of the same thing, 20 degrees above that x-axis, go ahead and draw in the line and throw that 80 meters right here. If I have something like this, 80 meters, 20 degrees in the positive y direction from the positive x-axis, don't let it confuse you. From this is your baseline. So the baseline is going to be the negative x axis. Do that first. Go that way first. And then go in the plus y direction. And then draw the resultant. And then throw that 20 degrees right into this angle spot. And lastly, throw that on the hypotenuse. Once again, if it was 80 meters north, it would never be the hypotenuse. But if it's 80 meters something degrees, 20 degrees, you see this? north of east or anything like that if you see this this right here you know that this right here is going on the hypotenuse right there hopefully that helps